Frequent blood glucose testing is essential for treating diabetes effectively. For ongoing monitoring of blood glucose, skin puncture for capillary blood is a technique that is easy to perform, plus it is less painful than venipuncture. Clients also use this procedure for home glucose monitoring. Today's competitive medical equipment market offers a variety of blood glucose meters that are simple to use, accurate, and widely available. Each device has its own specific directions for use, and as part of discharge planning or home care, you will review the use of the particular equipment with your client. You'll observe your clients performing skin punctures and using the equipment to make sure they are prepared to monitor their blood glucose levels accurately. For precise readings, some form of calibration or verification is often required. The procedure will vary with a specific glucose meter, so you'll be sure to review and follow the manufacturer's instructions carefully. For adults and older children, the fingertips are the most common site for skin puncture. It is best to use the lateral aspect of the fingertip because punctures in the pads of the fingertips can damage nerve endings. Punctures in that area can also be more painful, for example, if the client uses a keyboard regularly. The fingertips can also be calloused, for example, if the client plays guitar. The earlobe is another good choice, especially if the client's hands are edematous or the client is in shock. And some of the newer blood glucose meters are designed for obtaining blood from the arms and legs. If you are monitoring capillary blood glucose for a hospitalized client, you'll check the provider's orders for the frequency and type of testing to be done. You'll explain the procedure and its purpose to the client and family. If you'll be administering insulin based on the results of glucose testing, you'll explain this procedure to the client and family as well. You'll follow the sliding scale the provider has specified, giving a specific dose of regular insulin based on the client's blood glucose reading. A typical routine would be testing 30 minutes before each meal and at bedtime. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate determining a capillary blood glucose level using a glucose meter. We'll assume the nurse has checked the provider's orders, verify the client's identity, explain the procedure to the client, and review the institution's protocols for this procedure, as well as the manufacturer's instructions for using the device. First, the nurse assembles her equipment. She will need the glucose meter, a glucose reagent strip, an antiseptic pad, clean gloves, a sterile lancet, a lancet injector, and cotton balls. The nurse washes her hands and puts on gloves. To prepare the selected fingertip, she places it in a dependent position and massages the finger gently toward the site to increase blood flow to the area. Next, she cleanses the site according to the institution's protocols and allows the site to dry completely. Alcohol, in particular, can affect the results if it has not fully dried. While using her non-dominant hand to apply gentle pressure proximal to the site, the nurse uses her dominant hand to puncture the skin at a 90 degree angle with the lancet injector. If a lancet injector is not available, she would give the site a quick stab at a 90 degree angle with a lancet. She then applies the blood to the reagent strip. She asks the client to keep pressure on the puncture site with a cotton ball until it no longer bleeds. The nurse then follows the manufacturer's directions for how long to expose the strip to the blood, whether or not to wipe the strip, and then how to insert the strip and obtain the reading. After obtaining the reading, you'll remove your gloves and dispose of them and other materials in the proper receptacle. Make sure the client is comfortable, then wash your hands. Document the reading, how the client tolerated the procedure, any other concerns or observations, and any insulin administered based on the result in the client's record. You'll also be aware of previous glucose testing results for the client and compare the current result with them, taking into consideration any treatments and medications that might influence glucose levels. Also be sure to assess the puncture site on your next visit to the client's room. If your client is newly diagnosed with diabetes, you'll assess his readiness to perform blood glucose testing independently. Explaining the process and reviewing the steps with each test will help him prepare for self-testing. Gradually, you'll transition the procedure over to him, making sure he understands that successfully treating diabetes depends on his frequent and accurate measurement of his blood glucose levels.